Hey everybody. I hope y'all are having a good day and a good night. You all, I got to talk about what happened with my video. Oh my goodness. Um, first let me say I'm really, I'm really pissed off about, the, about my video being banned. But I'm going to try and keep my composure because it's not that serious. But at the same time, I just don't appreciate what YouTube has done. So, I'm going to break it down to you and tell y'all what happened. As you know, or don't know, who all who are subscribed to me and have been on my channel, you can pretty much already guess which video they banned, right? Yes. The Michael Jackson video. Michael Jackson Brisbane concert that I have pulled up. Let me just tell you all that um, I'm very new to putting up YouTube videos. I've been doing them for about two months now. But I'm not new to YouTube. So I'm aware of all their copyright infringements and, you know, the things they say you can't put up or you can put up or what have you not. Let me just tell you that they make things very, very complicated and it really shouldn't be. I know some of that's not their fault, but at the same time, since they're um, owning responsibility, then they should have to have a lot of own, own up to it as well. They're not making everything easy for us, you all. Especially people who want to put up that kind of material. Let me just tell you, when I put up the Michael Jackson video, um, first of all, let me just say I'm a big fan of Michael Jackson. And I didn't put the video up to get a lot of subscribers. I know a lot of people are going to look at the video if they're a Michael Jackson fan or if they just want to see the video. And that's, that was the whole purpose of putting it up for people who haven't seen it, who want to see it, who want to see it in the entirety that I put it in. That was for their enjoyment. People who live here, people who live in another country, whatever the case may be. You know, and to share in that. Like it, make comments or what have you not, then you know, you you move on. Let me just say when I first put the video up, I knew it might be in a position where it's copyrighted because it's not me in the video, it's not me, you know, talking or speaking or whatever, singing. So I knew that, but I also knew that they got other Michael Jackson stuff all over YouTube, all over YouTube, all over. So I didn't think it was going to be a big deal. That being said as well, I went ahead and put the video up. Um, two days after I put it up, they said, oh, it might be in copyright infringement. For now, do nothing. Your video will continue to play. If it becomes that issue, we'll let you know type of thing. And that's all they tell you. Okay. So, I'm still thinking that it's not a big deal. Even though it's supposedly copyrighted. I'm thinking I got nothing to worry about. So, how about Thursday? So, last Thursday just passed before Christmas. I go to my video manager. I check out the video. Like I always do with all the videos to see um, how many people viewed it. If they thumbs it, thumbs down it, comments and stuff. I just go and look at that anyway. Because sometimes they don't send you all that on your email. And I look at it every time I go on YouTube just to see what's going on. So how about when I go to, to look down at the video manager, it says the video is blocked in some countries. I'm like, oh man. Here we go. I go to see where? It's here in the United States. You Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my God. So, I'm like, okay. And they, and they tell me that my video may be, may be fringed upon copyright infringement. And because it may be um, copyright infringement, they have to block my video. And as of now, I don't, I don't have to worry about it. It can still be up. They're not going to remove it or suspend me or anything like that. But as for now, it's blocked. Now they do say there's a possibility in time that it, the block can be removed and it can be shown in the area where it's blocked in. First of all, you all, let me just say this. I think this shit is so unfair beyond recognition. Why? Because number one, they tell you, oh, you can't put copyright stuff up on YouTube. So that means pretty much everything except you being in the video, you, your friends, or whoever else you're videotaping, you singing. If it's got anything to do other than that, TV shows, concerts, movies, documentaries, anything like that. They don't want you to put up because it could be copyrighted. But shit, you don't know what's copyrighted and what's not. 
because the way I look at it, they got all these other videos that's up. TV shows out the booty hole. They got TV shows, documentaries, concerts from different people, not just Michael Jackson, Rihanna, Beyonce, Jay-Z, everywhere. And they leave them up. So I'm thinking, what's the problem? You got all these other videos up, but you want to ban my video. Now, I know I'm not the, only, the, the first person to get banned. I won't be the last person to get banned. Hopefully, it'll be the last video that I do that gets ban banned. But I know I'm not the last person for this to happen to. My thing is, they make the copyright law so strict and so hard to understand. The way I understand it is copyright means you can't produce it. You can't copy it without their permission because it's owned by other people. I mean, I get that. But I also feel like if you're not saying that that's you in the video, you're not saying that you own the rights to the video, and you're not saying that this is a video that you produce, I feel, and, oh, and you're not getting any money for the video. You're not gaining any monetary gain. I feel like if you're not doing any of that, leave the damn videos up. Who's it hurting? The people that own them? You gotta be kidding me. What, what's it hurting them? If people are looking at this shit, they should be happy that they're looking at it on another medium that people are enjoying it and watching it. Because if some people put videos up that, for whatever reason, if the person don't have cable or they don't have on demand or it might be not on the internet where they can get access to it and people save it on their computer or whatever, put it on a disc and pull up and let you look at it. And I think that's a great idea. I don't think that's hurting anybody because I know even if you are a partner or whatever or even if you're monetizing the um, videos that you do and everybody that's been on YouTube long enough know what I'm talking about, you're not getting any credit for these videos. Nothing. And that's fine. You know, I mean, that's okay. I don't want to get credit for it that way anyway. Maybe some people do, but I don't. I mean, I want to get credit for what I'm doing, but I don't have to get credit for any concerts or TV episodes I put up. I just want people to uh, watch them and enjoy them, whoever they are, wherever country they're from. And I feel like if you're going to ban it in any kind of country, why the hell are you going to ban it in the United States? Michael Jackson was an American singer. He lived, his, his ass lived here. I live here. So you got laws that can govern us, but everybody that's outside the country, they can see it with no problem. Don't y'all think that's a little twisted and backwards? I do. Uh, personally, I feel like they shouldn't ban it at all. Or really, they should do two things and stop with all this middle ground because all they're doing is confusing people. They should either take all the videos down that got TVs, documentaries, concerts and everything, take all of them down or everybody that puts them up, leave them up. Don't ban them, period. Don't do that because there's no, I feel like there's no need to. Even though it's copyright, you're not really infringing on the benefits of them saying it's copyrighted. You're loading up on a on a program, on a website that's designated for people to see this anyway. But yet you want to ban stuff like this that people can't put up. And I'm going to tell y'all something else that I've observed and read as of last night. I was really going to put this video up after it happened. I'm glad I didn't because I was really, really upset. I'm still upset, but I'm more calm than I was. And it makes no sense to really go off on a rampage because it's not going to solve nothing. Even though I might look calm to you all, I am not happy about this. And I'm very upset. And I just really think it's unfair. If it happens to other people, I think it's unfair to them too. Because I don't feel like they're doing the wrong thing, even though they consider it to be copyrighted. But let me tell you what I found out. Um, when I went to do my looking, I went to look on YouTube to see if there was other Brisbane concerts. I did this when I first got banned, okay? And there are some, quite a few. Maybe about a handful of people, maybe five or six that got some sort of Brisbane concert on there, the same one that I got. Let me tell you, most of the people that that has it on there. They're seven minutes, eight minutes, six minutes. The longest one I've seen was I think twelve or thirteen minutes. It was under fifteen. Minus twenty four. Okay. Now the other thing I I noticed is that 
most of the people that put the videos up, they live in another country. Okay? Also, the other thing that I learned, which is also very important, that I, that I found out as well, the people that are putting up these Michael Jackson videos, concerts and things, they have their whole page dedicated to Michael. That's all they put up is Michael Jackson stuff, whether it's concerts, interviews, what, whatever. They dedicate their channel to Michael Jackson. All right. First of all, let me say, my page is not dedicated to Michael Jackson. It was never planned on that. I just want to put something up that I thought somebody, that people might enjoy. Another thing I'm, I was looking at is when I was looking into the copyright rules, they tell you what it is is not it's not self-explanatory because it's a broad line like what I was saying earlier. It's just very, very broad. Um, they give you reasons for the reasons why your video might be banned. The two things that I know that was very interesting that kind of related to me was one question is, well, what if other people got the same video up? Why is mine being banned? Why is mine being removed? And their reason was that it might be some videos that the owner don't mind having up and then it might be others that they don't. So in other words, it might be about eight or nine people that have Brisbane up. So he might let five or six put them up without worrying about it being copyrighted and then the other three, they're going to take them down. I think that's totally unfair, which is what I was saying earlier. It's, 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 it's bullshit, really. It's really, really, really unfair. The other reason, and this was very interesting to me, too, they said that another thing that can happen is, even though you have the, the same video up, like you and maybe three other people got the exact same video up, believe it or not, it might be owned by different people. So that owner might be okay with people putting the video up, and then the other owner may not be. Don't y'all think that sounds stupid? Again, if you're going to do that, just let everything go or put everything up. All this black and white issue in the middle and the gray, it's, it doesn't add up and it makes everybody confused and frustrated. A lot of people that probably got suspended probably shouldn't even deserve to get suspended because they're not trying to really steal the video or get money from it. They're just trying to put stuff up that they think everybody should enjoy and watch, which is what I feel. So, my conclusion, I didn't take my video down for two different reasons, three different reasons. Oh, wait, one more thing. Now, even if you live in, the, in another country, if they feel like the video is copyrighted, <laughs> they'll ban you too. So, if you're in another country, don't think that, okay, I can put whatever Michael Jackson video I want or any other video or any other concert. If they feel like it's in copyright infringement, they will ban that video as well. What it really means, again, is that they're living outside of the United States. So everybody in the United States can't see it, but everybody outside can. So it doesn't matter what country you're in, if they feel like it's violated or it's copyright infringement, they will ban it. Straight up. Um... Again, like I said, I don't think it's fair. Uh, the other thing I was going to say is this, the conclusion of why I feel like they banned my video because YouTube ain't going to tell me. They're not going to tell me. If they do, I'll put another video up and let you know, but I don't think they're going to tell me. Um, disregard y'all, that's my phone ringing, which it never ever does while I'm here. So, my three conclusions on why they banned my video. Number one. Besides it, they saying it's copyrighted because that's not my issue. Number one, it's too long. All the videos that I see that have not been banned by Brisbane, six, seven, eight minutes long. Too long. Number two, um, I don't have my page dedicated to Michael Jackson. I believe if I did and I was putting up Michael Jackson videos, they probably would allow it because I don't see too many people who got Michael Jackson stuff up and got a lot of stuff banned. I just see one here, one there, and I did do my looking. I didn't look everywhere, but I looked enough, you all. Number three, I feel like they did it because um, all the other Brisbane videos that are up, they feel like that was enough. I feel like they said, okay, our video is too long. 
will ban it. Um, her page is not dedicated to Michael Jackson, and she just want to put something up with Michael just to get hits or just so people can look at it. We'll ban it. And number three, they felt like, oh, well, we got all these other Brisbane concerts up, and she's one of the last people to put hers up. Let's ban it. I really don't think it's the the length of the video. I really believe it's the other two. I believe it's because my page is not dedicated to him, and I also believe that the reason is that they other they got the other videos up. They might be owned by different people, but how how you supposed to know that? I really just think it's I just think it's bullshit. You all, YouTube, can you please get together and fix it so that either everybody can put the videos up that they want, as long as they're not perpetrating a fraud, pretending it's theirs, saying it's theirs, trying to get money off of it, or take everything down. Personally, I think you should leave everything up. YouTube is up for a reason. You're broadcasting yourself, but you're also showing other things that you think other people want to see. Why hinder that? Because all you're going to do is make it more complicated for people to decide what they want to put up. They don't want it to get banned. So either they're going to put it up and just take a chance or get mad when you try to uh, ban it and take it down. And if there's just a slight chance that you do put it back up, great. But when is that going to happen? It's stupid. So you need to get together and make the and make it. I know it's not your rules. You're going get, you're going above everybody else. But like I said, at some point there has to be some kind of ground where there's not all this black and white. Because if it's really like this, who knows what you can put up besides you doing you and and visiting what you're doing. It's ridiculous. Y'all need to fix it. You're probably not going to, but I suggest that you do so you can make it a little easier on everybody. You might lose a lot of people if you don't put up the, the, epi the TV episodes and the concerts. But at least if you have it in black and white and have it in concrete, this is what you can't put up at all. Then you make it easier for people not to be able to put it up. And you spare them the embarrassment and the, and the um, anger of having their video banned or being suspended or being terminated. Everybody, that's my video for tonight. Uh, I don't want to say I hope you enjoyed it, but I hope it enlightened you. I hope you... I hope it interests you. Okay? Uh, if you want to send me some comments, let me know what you think. Um, and until next time, I will see you soon, y'all. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.